Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll show you how to create this top and bottom wall trim in Revit. Let's get started. So what I have here is just walls, doors, and window. And I put up some floor and the ceiling. So it looks like this on 3D. I'm going to change this to wireframe so that we could see on the inside when we're placing the lines. So let's create the top trim first. So you will need to click architecture, component, drop down menu, and then model in place. Choose generic models and then press OK. I'm, I'm just going to rename this as top trim and then press OK. So here we will need to set the plane. I'm going to pick a plane, press OK, and I'm going to choose this plane. After that, I'm going to choose sweep and then sketch path. So I'm just going to choose the wall plane before that pick line and then the wall plane and I'm just going to go all over on this and the plane for this wall as well. Click split element and then trim and then finish the mode. After this, click edit profile and now we need to design the top trim. I'm just gonna make this random design And then once you're done, click finish and before you click the, the last finish, you can set the materials right here just gonna choose something white and then finish model. And as you can see, it created the top trim and it went all around the wall like this. Next, we're going to do the top bottom trim. So we need to go to architecture again, component, model in place, generic model, and let's rename this as bottom trim. Press OK and then just click sweep and once you click the sweep you will need to select sketch path and then from here choose pick line. So here we will need to split again, split this again and then trim. We also need to split where the door is. So I'm going to split that there, press escape 
and then I'm just gonna move it from there to here and we need to align this so click align so from this door frame to this point and then lock it in place this door frame to this point lock it in place the reason for that is so that when we move the door in case we move this it will follow as well so click finish and then edit profile so that we could design our bottom trim so here I'm gonna create a line this is also random and you just need to close this and then once you're done click finish finish and before you click the last finish change the material or apply the materials and click finish and you will be able to see the bottom trim that you created So the bottom and top trim is very useful when you're doing interior designing of your space so that it will provide those more realistic look that you're looking for. Thank you for watching and hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.